Hello. In this video, we are going to examine the oxidation numbers of carbon in typical organic compounds. Recall that the most common oxidation number for hydrogen is plus one. We know that the total of oxidation numbers for a compound must equal zero. Since we have four hydrogen atoms in methane, each of which has a oxidation number of plus one, the oxidation number of carbon must be minus four in methane. The simplest alcohol, a primary alcohol, is methanol. Since oxygen typically in compounds has an oxidation number of minus two, and each hydrogen has an oxidation number of plus one, to get the whole compound to zero, carbon in methanol must have an oxidation number of minus two. Oxidation of a primary alcohol leads at first to an aldehyde. The simplest aldehyde is commonly called formaldehyde with the IUPAC name of methanol. Since oxygen has an oxidation number of minus two and hydrogen plus one, in this compound, carbon has an oxidation number of zero, which is also the number carbon would have in elemental carbon. Oxidation of an aldehyde leads to a carboxylic acid. The simplest carboxylic acid has the common name of formic acid, after formi ants, and its IUPAC name is methanoic acid. Recalling that the common oxidation number for hydrogen is plus one, and for oxygen is minus two, we see that indirectly we can determine the oxidation number of carbon to be plus two in this carboxylic acid. The common endpoint for extreme oxidation of carbon, as in burning, is carbon dioxide. Since each oxygen has an oxidation number of minus two, the oxidation number of carbon must be plus four in carbon dioxide. This diagram summarizes the possible oxidation states of organic compounds that have exactly one carbon. In the following slides, we will examine the Lewis dot structures of the same carbon compounds that we had previously examined. We are also going to color code the electrons so that they have the color of the more electronegative element that is involved in the bonding. For example, carbon is more electronegative than hydrogen, so all the electrons that are shared between carbon and hydrogen are colored gray, the color of carbon, and count towards its oxidation number. Since carbon started with four electrons and it now has eight, effectively it's gained a minus four charge, so it has an oxidation number of minus four.
because oxygen is far more electronegative than carbon, the two electrons involved in the carbon-oxygen bond are colored red and located closer to oxygen to emphasize that point, whereas the other six electrons being in carbon-hydrogen bonds, where carbon is more electronegative than hydrogen, are colored gray, the color of carbon here, and they're also shown as being closer to the carbon atom. Since carbon starts with four electrons and now has six, it has effectively picked up like a minus two charge, so we can rationalize it now having an oxidation number of minus two. Formaldehyde features a carbon-oxygen double bond. And because oxygen is more electronegative than carbon, both of the electron pairs, so a total of four electrons, are colored red and counted towards oxygen. The remaining four electrons in the carbon-hydrogen bonds are colored gray because carbon is more electronegative than hydrogen. Now notice that the oxidation number of carbon in formaldehyde is equal to zero. We also know that in elemental carbon, or in any elemental element ever, the oxidation number is by definition zero. So the mere fact that the oxidation number is zero does not necessarily imply that the element is in its elemental form. And we see a nice example of that in formaldehyde. In the carboxylic acid formic acid, there are two carbon-oxygen bonds. One is a carbon-oxygen double bond. So we see the two bonding pairs colored red, and those are allocated towards oxygen because oxygen is more electronegative than carbon. There is also a carbon-oxygen single bond, so that yields another two electrons that are colored red. And we have one carbon-hydrogen bond involving two electrons, which are colored gray because carbon is more electronegative than hydrogen. So we can look at the number of gray-tinted electrons. There's only two. Carbon started with four, so that is effectively a loss of two electrons or a plus two charge, so an oxidation number of plus two for carbon in this acid. In carbon dioxide, we have two carbon-oxygen double bonds, and since oxygen is more electronegative than carbon, all of the bonding electrons are colored red and counted towards oxygen. Since carbon started with four electrons, and now it has none, it must have lost four electrons, which is equivalent to a plus four charge, or plus four uh, oxidation number on carbon in carbon dioxide. This diagram summarizes the Lewis structures and oxidation numbers for the same five compounds that we had previously examined. But also note how the oxidation numbers for carbon proceed from minus four to minus two to zero to plus two to plus four. It goes by two units each time. This is telling us that each of these oxidations, it's the most reduced form here is methane, and the most oxidized form is carbon dioxide, involves a transfer of two electrons. We say each of those is a two electron oxidation. I thank you very much for your attention. Have a good one.